How's it going today everyone and it looks like Capcom continues to get worse and worse and worse every single day. I just made a video on how they're censoring their upcoming games and now they have quotas. Yes, actual diversity quotas. They want more women managers in the company and more non-Japanese directors. It's just annoying to see them do this. They are a legendary developer in this industry and now it looks like they want to hire a bunch of DEI and ESG people who don't deserve the job and debt. And earn it. But let's look at this article from that Park Place. And it says Capcom admits it has an internal quota to increase percentage of female managers and it's considering hiring non Japanese directors. This is going to destroy your games, bro. There is no good directors like that in the West. That's why people are going over to Japan. All the good directors got fired or kicked out or just got replaced by diversity hires that are ruining entertainment. And now you want to do the same thing? You're not going to hire the actual legend. Legendary directors. I don't follow directors. I don't know who specifically they were named, but just keep working with the people you're working with with your games. I don't. This is so retarded and unnecessary. This company's done. Let's just continue reading the article. Video game developer and publisher Capcom recently revealed the company has an internal quota to increase the percentage of female managers employed at the company and is considering hiring nine Japanese directors. If you're unfamiliar with Capcom, stupid thing to say, nobody is. Or whatever continue the company develops and publishes a number of popular games and ips including dragon's dogma monster hunter ace attorney devil may cry resident evil mega man street fighter commando and more the company's ceo and chairman kenzo i'm not even going to pronounce these names i don't i'm not I'm bad with names also made it clear the company was committed to esg in a letter from november 2021 as part of the letter he noted i believe that building a healthy relationship with stakeholders through business activities leads to improved corporate value. Therefore, focusing particularly on S and G of ESG, I recognize our critical issues as development numbers, diversity, support for education, and a ratio of external directors. We will continue to promote ESG initiatives based on the SDG goals of creating a sustainable society and strive for sustainable growth while building a relationship of trust with our stakeholders. I fucking hate stakeholders stakeholders with the passion that's why nobody i would be nobody should go public you can do what you want with your money i'm not here to give advice but as soon as you go public you have to listen to retards and old dumbasses who are wealthy but they are out of touch with your industry they don't know why you are popular why you are wealthy in the first place they don't care about that you have to listen to them even though you don't want to do something even though you know it could ruin your fan base and have your fan base be mad at you and possibly ruin your franchise because you're not giving your audience what they want it was already bad before and now we had this fucking esg shit which literally just buys up a bunch of stocks and companies and then force these companies to push these disgusting left-wing ideologies like a bunch of gay shit and tranny shit and feminism and diversity and all this shit that nobody likes nobody cares about and everything gets fucking changed at the company because these greedy fuckers these evil bastards just want to change everything to warp people's minds so they can be indoctrinated into their movement or their message or uh, indoctrinate into their mindset and just change the fucking the world change the culture going to the stock market is even worse now than it was before this shit is just beyond annoying from this company let's just continue reading the article this commitment to esg surfaced during the company's 45th ordinary general meeting of the shareholders which took place at the end of june a shareholder question you submitted a female candidate for external director however all your internal directors are male Please tell me what are you doing to increase the number of female managers internally? Oh my fucking god. What a dumbass and gay ass question to ask. Women should never be in charge. Women are weak and emotional. They can't handle power. They can't handle telling people what to do and still having everything in order. This is a disaster scenario. I guarantee you with some disgusting obese blue haired creature, some disgusting whale asks that question. I guarantee you. Or some gay ass soy boy why are you asking about that like come on now you're not gonna ask about profits you want to know how many women are in charge get the fuck out of here this is so stupid man gamers are tired of this shit let's just continue reading the company responded regarding diversity of our board of directors we select director candidates who are able to oversee management
management of the company and offer appropriate advice while considering the skills and characteristics required in accordance with our management strategies and the balance of each individual's career history, insight, and experience. However, the company then noted, also note that while our internal directors are currently all male, in addition to women, going forward, we would consider non-Japanese directors. You're fucking done, bro. You're done. You're cooked. Unfucking believable. I just want every company just burn down at this point. You can't be this stupid. I want to see this whole industry just just destroyed. Y'all don't learn your fucking lesson. People do not want this. Why is it so hard to continue doing what you've been doing the whole time? And you will continue making more and more money. It, it's incredible. It really is. But let's just continue reading. Regarding female managers, currently 21.2% of our employees are female and 13.6% of our core talent is female. We are aiming to bring the percentage of female managers up to 15%. Looking ahead, we believe we will be able to see more female directors by broadening our scope and increasing the ratio of female managers. Capcom concluded. Given the Capcom CEO commitment to ESG, these comments from the company are not at all surprising and that's basically the article the article goes on talking about other gay shit that capcom has done recently and we already know some of it i mentioned some of it already i made a video on how they censored one of the characters at least a poster art for the game of the capcom versus snk we make go watch that video first you censored your game and now you're getting into esg for what do you not have money already you guys were making so much money just for monster hunter alone you were having your biggest years, your most profitable years, and now you're going for ESG funding for what? Because companies are greedy and just can't help themselves? And now you want to do one of the worst things you can ever do to your company, putting women in charge or hiring women, a bunch of them. Because you have a fucking quota where you want a specific percentage of women, not people who are actually good at the job. No, you just want specifically women. Those women that you're hiring from the West is going to be the most obnoxious activist you can think of. The obese lesbian feminists that hate America, that hate masculinity, that hate femininity, and they just hate everything because they're miserable, old, leftover trash. They are spiteful, they are obnoxious, and they want to destroy everything because they are miserable. Nobody wants them, so they go into these male spaces and ruin shit for men, ruin shit that men like, such as video games, such as comic books, and action movies, and fantasy, and sci-fi movies, you name it. And now it's happening to Capcom. I have talked about many different companies that's getting ruined by a bunch of fat activists who don't care anything about the medium itself, just pushing their message, just brainwashing people into their ideas just pushing ESG quotas and DEI quotas so these companies get paid and we the gamers we get fucked over time and time again because these companies want a quick paycheck where they can make a bigger paycheck if they just give the fans what they want especially Capcom you have a lot of franchises that you do not touch anymore a lot of your fans have been begging you to bring back at least Mega Man X or Shores Wrath or Beautiful Joe you haven't done none of that all you do is Resident Evil Monster Hunter, Street Fighter, and the occasional Devil May Cry once a generation, and that is it. So many franchises you are leaving behind. There's probably 30 more that I didn't even name. Maybe like God Hand as well. I remember God Hand on the PS2. Where is that? Where's the remake, remaster of that? You can make more money doing that than selling out to these ESG activists who are gonna ruin all your characters. Unfucking believable. And of course, it has to be women. That's why my motto in life is women ruin everything because now women are gonna ruin capcom just like they ruined ea ubisoft and many other companies that i've talked about absolutely incredible the future for this company is gonna be bleak i'm not gonna say they're gonna lose a lot of money they're too famous to go down that quickly but we will see a drop in quality in their upcoming game maybe not right now but definitely when those female managers start to kick in we're fucked and their games are fucked and we're just not going to buy it. At least I'm not. You can do what you want to do with your money personally. Shit like this just makes me sick of this company. And this is a legendary company. Oh well Capcom. It is what it is. Just go fuck yourself. You are scum and you are a sellout.